he loses the ball and gives it back to Nat Phillips as he looked to go forward and, you know, carry the ball long, but he should have passed the ball already. Trent Alexander-Arnold goes to number 19, Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott goes back to Nat Phillips, who's starting this game in place of Joel Matin, injured between the, la the, the, the last game and, and this game. Andy Robertson. Back to Virgil van Dijk. Fabinho, back to Nat Phillips. So the passing is very good by Liverpool. They've been effective going forward without, without troubling the score, but they've looked good. I got to say they've looked better than the, the fuller match. So Harvey Elliott, cheeky, finds Salah. Salah doing very well, swiveling, and the ball is dealt with, mopped up by Joachim Anderson, keeping his poise. Eze, what a dribble to go past Fabinho. What a ball to Zaha. Is he onside? Zaha goes in behind. Zaha, and Alisson is beaten. And does the flag go up? It does. Does it go up? It does not go up. It's a goal by Crystal Palace. It is a goal by Crystal Palace. Jurgen Klopp looks on in dismay, in surprise, in awe. And I'm surprised as well because I've just been talking about Crystal Palace have absolutely none of this ball. 79 touches compared to Liverpool's 250 touches. And look at that play by AZ. Oh, it's onside and it's a goal. What a run by Wilf Zaha. Oh my goodness. And what a shot to beat Alisson Becker. Perfect strike. And Palace, a 1-0 up against Liverpool. I can't believe this. As a Man City fan, I'm loving it, of course. But I can't believe this, though. 